Hey friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds and Fairy Lights and I'm here today to share with you guys a new product that is so exciting. So Diamond Art Club has recently released some new stainless steel multi-placing tips and so this is what they look like. Right here I have a three tip placer as well as a six tip placer and you guys, I am just in love with these. Now this says a three tip placer. Um, I have not used this one yet, but I have been using the six tip placer. You guys, this one picks up seven drills for me. So it says six tip placer, but I'm counting it as a seven drill placer. And we're gonna look and compare it with some other tips just to kind of see the length and, and the kind of if they're thick or thin. But you guys, these are total game changers. I just love them. I really do hope that Diamond Art Club will be putting more out in different sizes, like a 10 or a 12. Those are really my go-to sizes that I use. But let's go ahead and get into these. I also have to share with you guys one of Diamond Art Club's premium drill painting pens that you can buy off their website. Now this is an orange smoothie. And I know a lot of people have been asking about these, these multi-tip placers, you know, because the website does say that it should fit most standard diamond painting pens, but some people have said, hey, it's not fitting and they're not exactly sure. Um, so we're gonna go over all of that today. I have right here with you, with us, these are five pens from different companies, as well as I can show you some other diamond painting pens that are some different metal tips or the plastic tips that usually comes. We can kind of compare and look at them, but we are going to see if these tips will fit into these pens. I've got butterfly effect wires. I've got Bistro Blanks. This is a lazy river. This is an enablers outpost, and this is a diamond art club pen. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna check them out and then i also have tools to how to fix it if your pen tip is not fitting in your pen properly how some different options of what you can do so let's talk about what actually comes in most toolkits so most toolkits just come with a basic pen like this and a tip that's like this so this is like a a brass tip that's in there. Now I find these often scratch diamond painting drills and I do not like that. In Diamond Art Club in particular, you have your single tip, then they do provide you a four and seven placer in their toolkits and you can add them to the end of your pen. So this is just what would be a typical in your toolkit pen. So let's go ahead and we'll, I mean, we'll try that. However, this is what those kind of tips look like when you put them in an upgraded pen or a premium hand turned pen. So here we have got that same tip and then we have got a seven placer in here. And these ones both, um, I, I actually haven't replaced these ones because I haven't used this pen yet. Um, this is actually an enablers outpost as well. Um, so that is what you get just with your regular random, um, you know, your diamond painting pens. Now right here, I do have a three and six placer that we can compare because the three and four are a little bit different. The three and six are a little bit different than the four and seven. However, I do think these tips might actually be flexible. I do think the three might be a three to four and the six, a uh, six to seven. Getting into these tips, come in these nice boxes. And these are probably the most lightweight metal tips that I have ever seen or like felt. You can see right here, look at how thin that is. I'll show you a through the plastic three placer in comparison. Can, can you guys just see what a difference that makes? I'm trying to... First of all, the plastic line is so much thicker and the interior is so much thicker. And 
what I have found in using these really thin tips is that you really don't need all of that extra space. This is going to pick up the tip top of the drills. Your drills are not going to get stuck in it. And in the, what, whether you use wax or putty, um, this is just going to pick up the tops. And so I think that is actually a great feature of these. I'll show you guys the six, seven placer. <laughs> So this one is again a super thin and again we'll look at a plastic six placer with it. So again you can just see the difference right there. Now I know that um, if you use putty sometimes it can be so obnoxious because the putty will come off your pen and get on your canvas and it's absolutely impossible to get off. I found that I think these deeper wells actually contribute to that problem because you have so much excess in your diamond painting tip that it's going to come out and it's, you know, once you, you push, press down on the drills, it picks them up, it's going to push excess putty out and then that will get on the side of your pen and it just makes it more messy. It will get on your canvas. With these thinner ones, you have so much less putty that you put in there that, and you don't have a lot of overlap room that you're not going to have as much excess putty come out of the tip while you're diamond painting. So let me put away some of these things. Now, I thought this might be a little bit interesting. Let's look to see how, okay. So this is a four and this is their three. And let's try the seven with the six because I'm, okay, this is where, this is where I think if you can see this six placer is just almost the exact same as the seven placer. So in my honest opinion, I think this is a seven placer, <laughs> but Hey, you know what? Um, it, it's you can pick up six too. So um, let's go ahead and look at this diamond painting pen. That's a premium pen that comes from Diamond Art Club, and see how those pen tips fit. So pull this open, and here you have got the pen. I think this was looked like just a really fun summer pen. <laughs> orange smoothie. So if you don't know how to get these tips out, I will just share with you really quickly. I just keep one of these nearby. <laughs> I know this isn't what you would normally expect to find in a diamond painting. Uh, I, I have a bit of a toolbox and this is something that I have. I carry in my diamond painting toolbox um, just because it helps get tips out of pens. So what I just do is grab it I kind of twist a little bit and it comes out the same with the top one and it just comes right out. So there you have a pen that is ready to put in your metal tips. Now I did forget to show you guys, but this is a single placer that Diamond Art Club produces. So it does match quite well with their multi placers. I have used this one a ton and I do really like it. And so that is the single placer that they offer. So let's go ahead and see how these fit. They're gonna come in. Okay, so they go in rather nicely, but they're gonna just fall right out. So you might wonder what, what are you gonna do about that? Um, so there are two methods basically that I find that are very helpful. It is a glue gun and washi tape. So the glue gun is definitely my favorite way to do it. However, you can use washi tape. So I know what a lot of people will do is they'll take a thinner washi tape and they will just wrap it around the edges of the tip and that will keep it in place. Um, that'll make it, you know, just a few, a few times around it. That should make it a little bit more snug. So I did want to let you guys know that that is something or a use that you can use with washi tape. Um, we can just try it right now and see. So basically, this is always the hard part. It's getting it to stick really quickly, but we're just going to roll it on here. 
a few times. I'll pull it off and then let's try this again. Okay, so not the prettiest thing, but this pen is now in there very securely. <laughs> you are not gonna take it, you know, it's, it's not coming out. Um, but I do feel like it, you just never know and you have like washi tape hanging out so it's not my favorite thing to do. However, what I usually do is with metal tips, I do not do this with plastic tips. I must qualify this statement. I do not do this with plastic tips because they can break and get stuck inside. However, your metal tips are not going to break. So I will take, I will warm up this glue gun. I will put a dab or two in there and then put the pen in and it will hold your pen in place. And you know what? It's not super permanent. It's good enough to hold your pen in place. But if you did want to exchange your pen for a different, you know, a different pen, but you wanted to continue using this placer, again, you would just need to take some something like this and pull it out. In fact, I found that with um, with with the hot glue, it's soft enough that I can usually just pull it out myself. <laughs> um, I don't need to use pliers or anything like that. But that is the method. If your pen is not fitting, I definitely recommend. You know, this was a three dollar glue gun from Hobby Lobby, and this is just some s simply gilded washi tape. So let's try out and see how these are gonna fit. We'll leave some of that washi on there, but this is a butterfly's effect wears pen. And so let's see if this fits not. Okay, so this one is rather, it's a little bit loose. So again, washi tape or glue. Let's try a Bistro Blanks pen. So we'll try this one first. Yep, again, we're gonna need it with the washi tape adjustment or again, hot glue. Let's try this Lazy River pen. Again, this one, not quite, but just a little washi tape and it's secure. Now this is an enabler's outpost. And again, we're gonna need it to be a little bit more secure. This is another Diamond Art Club pen that came in the Christmas box. Again, this one is going to need to be secured. And last but not least, let's try out this plain pen and see if it fits. Now it does, but again, you're going to need to have it secured. And this again, I would definitely recommend to use the hot glue gun because you're going to see in this sort of clear that there's a little bit of washi. But you guys, let me just tell you, I have been loving using these tips in my pen. Um, this is my current pen that I am using. It's from Leopard Leather Works. If you can just see how this compares with Putty In and Putty Not In There, um, this, you guys, really <laughs> is a game changer and I just love it. And a quick note to just add, these are currently sold out, the three and six placers on Diamond Art Club's website. However, I'm sure they'll be restocking them soon. And so don't worry, go turn your notifications on for when they do have a restock, it should be there. Now I will be giving away a $10 off a $40 purchase coupon code. And so I will be announcing that in the week four video. So of my princess along that's going on right now. So it'll give you guys some time. This next Thursday will be week three. So you guys have almost a week and a half to enter this. So please leave me a comment down below with the word tip, T-I-P, in it. Let me know what kind of tip is your favorite. Do you prefer the metal or the plastic? Do you prefer four placers or 10 or 15? Is there a specific kind that you like? Just let me know, but include the word tip in a sentence. Please do not leave it just as a word. But I will be drawing the winner, like I said, in the week for Princess Along video. So I hope you guys have a great day. Please give me a like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video soon. Bye!